Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to cover the roles and responsibilities of a quality analyst in that way. As you can see, this is the that word like Basecamp dashboard. To repeat, Basecamp is a project management tool in which we manage and communicate with the client. So let's get started. As a quality analyst, these are your primary responsibilities. The completion of each team's weekly tasks, the project improvement, monthly and weekly report quality assurance, and risk management. In that way, we have eight teams that are working upon the projects of clients. You may be in one of the eight teams. For example, let me take the example of team 5. This is the base camp of team 5 where all the team members are present and they work harmoniously among each other and communicate with each other in this base camp. The main feature of this base camp is the weekly to-do list. Here, all the weekly tasks are been previously set by the team leader or a management member. Your job as a quality analyst is to make sure all of these tasks have been completed by the end of each week. Next we come to project improvement. Each team has been assigned a specified number of projects and you can see those projects in the team project division of the active post sheet. For example, team 5 has 60 projects. Out of these 60 projects, your job will be to find those projects that are not actually performing well and you need to figure out how, why are they not performing well and how to make them perform well. For instance, here are some ways by, by which you can identify the quality of a project and whether they fall under the risk category or not. You can check by checking the keyword ranking trends. By the way, if you are checking a particular project, for example, in this case, let me go over to a project name, Google. This is the project dashboard. In this, you mainly deal with three tools. One is the message board, which basically replaces the email feature and is used for client communications and sending updates. The to-dos consist of monthly to-dos for the specified project and needs to be completed in a month. And you have the docs and files section where all important docs are present. In each project, you will find an off-page sheet over here. Here, you will find keyword, important keyword rankings for the keywords which are updated each and every month. Just go over there and find out the most important sheet where, where the keyword rankings are tracked. In this case, it's this particular sheet. If you go to the keyword section, you will find that the, key, that the keyword rankings are tracked each and every month. By seeing the trend of the keyword rankings and the number of keywords that are actually ranking in the top 100 and top 10 pages, you can have an idea about how the project is performing. Next is to go is to have a look at the website monthly traffic trend, the monthly index battling trend, the website DA and PA growth, and the TFCF ratio. As a quality analyst, you will be given access to SE ranking, which is a paid SEO tool, so you can figure out the monthly traffic trend and the monthly index battling trend. You will also have access to individual projects, Google Analytics and Google Search Console, if they are given access by the client. You can also figure out the website DA and PA and the TFCF ratio of the backlinks. All of these factors combined, you can identify whether that particular project is going good or is in the risk category. Moving on, the third most important responsibility of a quality analyst is to ensure the quality of the monthly and weekly report. It is compulsory for each team to send out a monthly and weekly report of their performance to each and every project, unless otherwise specified. It is your job as a quality analyst to ensure the right standards for the weekly and monthly reports that are being sent out. 
for for more details regarding what should be contained in each of the monthly and weekly reports you can refer to the onboarding video given in the link, link description below finally comes his risk management and this is the most important aspect of your responsibility each team has been assigned a, a separate risk management dashboard in your case for example of team 5 you will have team 5's risk management dashboard After you have identified certain projects as risk projects, you will have to make a list of all of them. And after that, you have to perform a 12 point check on each of these projects. This includes basic SEO issues, slow completion of tech and on page, an in depth RD into why like a project is not ranking, perhaps. For example, it may be because the search intent of the keywords and the landing pages are not aligned. It may also be because of the of the backlinks that are made are not high quality or it may be that the website doesn't really have enough content weekly rank checkup weekly traffic monitoring weekly seo errors monitoring weekly gsc monitoring which is google search console you have to make ensure the quality of the backlinks you have to make advanced strategies to make to make sure that the project is ranking well you have to complete the to-do of the project board and you have to check whether it ha a particular project has been crit, hit by a Google penalty or not. Also, you are responsible for the monthly growth report. With these 12 points analyzed, you can make a list of tasks that may be performed to turn around a risk project. Your job will be then to put a list of those tasks and inch and maintain them in the risk management PC for team 5. It is up to you and the team to ensure that these tasks are then completed as soon as possible and the quick turnaround of a, of a risk project is possible. That's all from my end. Hope you have a great time in that one. Please do know that there are a lot more details that needs to be covered. For a detailed video in Basecamp and about that one, please refer to the Basecamp video tutorial and that for onboarding video in the links given in the description below. Thank you and have a great day.